Hey folks, Fred Bernardo, smoking guitar player here at Tasty Licks Barbecue Spy in Chillington, Pennsylvania. Now I had some fan mail from a fan and you know what it said? It said, hey smoking guitar player, I got myself a big green egg mini, but I like to cook the big spaghetti squash in there. Can it be done? Well we're gonna show you how to do it. Here we go! Okay folks, so we're gonna, gonna show you how to cook a huge spaghetti squash like this here in this tiny little big green egg mini. Now, you know, you gotta watch it. If you just put it in there, it's gonna smash. The thermometer's gonna poke through there and the, and the lid ain't gonna shut. So what we did is we took the smoke ring. We took the one ring out of there. We'll show you how to do it. But first off, I gotta prep my spaghetti squash. So let me get all my tools together. Okay, let's prep it right now. Can we get a zoom in on this? I don't want you to miss what's going to happen here now. Zoomed in, right? Okay, hang on. Get them labels off of there. See what I'm doing here now? Get them labels off of there. Any other labels? Nope. So let's go cook it! Here we go! So folks, can you cook spaghetti squash in a mini? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. Come over here, cameraman, and look inside. We took the fire ring out, put our plate setter in there. Now, you don't really need that plate setter, but we had one, so we put it in. But we took our fire ring out to give us a little more room, and look at this. Done. 350 degrees. Okay? So we'll check it out when it's done. About 20 minutes went by. I'm going to check it out and see what it looks like. Now, i got to tell you, some of my fans here that were hanging out around the store said, oh, you can't put a spaghetti squash in there like that. It's going to explode. you got to poke holes in it. So you know what I told them? If it explodes, that's even gonna be better because that'll make a hell of a video. So it hasn't exploded yet though, unfortunately, but let me take a look. I'm pretty sure it's not done. We'll check back later. So folks, you know, I thought I'd interrupt my own video. Since some of you people don't have a big green egg mini egg to cook your spaghetti squash in, I got another one. I'm this, this little insert here, we're gonna do another one side by side. I'd put the video side by side too except I don't know how to work that thingy on the computer right. So we'll just run them separately but I'm gonna show you how to do it for anybody. So this is how we start. First thing we do is we split in half our spaghetti squash. You gotta watch it here that you don't hurt yourself. This bugger is tough. And if you're a guitar player like me, you're afraid of getting your fingers cut. Just cut it like that. Okay, you folks on the video, don't blink. Now, when we got our spaghetti squash and cut in half, that was a little more order than I was expecting. That baby's tough. Now, when we get it open like this, the next thing we do, we get a pan, we put it in there, and we scrape out the guts. We scrape out the guts. Just the seeds. You don't have to worry too much about the other stuff. Don't miss the intestines. It doesn't have intestines. I just made that part up. Hey, look at how that split weird there, huh? It's got a weird little, it's got a funky spot in there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You see that funky spot? I'm gonna cut that funky spot out right now. There you go, one funky spot cut out. Now let's do the next one. Let's get them seeds out. Okay, now let's get the seeds out of the other piece. That's all you gotta do. You can use a spoon. You can, you know, you can use your teeth if you really want to. That'd be kind of primal. Now, normally we don't have this indentation here, but I don't know. I cut it a little weird when I was cutting it, but don't matter. Don't doesn't matter. Now those are part of your spaghetti, so we'll leave them in here. Now we're gonna get another pan, and here's what we do. We 
take our extra virgin olive oil and we spray some on each one and then we brush it. We get rid of that seed there. Try to anyway. And we brush it with our sauce brush like this here. Whatever you gotta do to get it out nice and even. Oh, that's good. And then we take our tree hugger or any kind of seasoning you want to put on and we put a decent little coat on there. Just enough to, to season it up. Now you know tree hugger is kind of like super powerful garlic and herbs. So we're going to put pretty much on. I can smell it already. That smells fantastic. We're going to take this. We're going to put them face down on our grill. We can do it direct or indirect. And we're going to cook it until it's soft. So let's go put it on the grill. Okay, let's put it on our grill. We got a big Joe, big Joe. And look at this, we got it set up indirect over here and direct here. So I'm gonna put them direct for a little bit and let them get a little char thing going, just a little. And then maybe I'll move them over to indirect. We're gonna do it till they're soft when we poke them, okay? See you in a while. Okay, folks. So here's our spaghetti squash off our grill. Now you might notice this is charred a lot. That's probably a lot more than I wanted, but I gotta tell you, I secretly know I have another one that's baking in a mini, and we didn't even cut that open, so it's gonna have no char at all. So I thought I'd, I'd let this one char a little bit, because I personally really like that. Now I'm gonna scrape a little bit of it off, because you know, it got a little bit carried away when I wasn't looking. But I'm not gonna go too crazy, but I am gonna take a little off, because you know, Mrs. Smoking Guitar Player is gonna say, it's too smoky, it's too smoky. So I'm going to take a little bit of it off, you know, the really hairy stuff, but I'm going to leave most of it on. Just the really hairy stuff off here. Just so that, like, Mrs. Smoking Guitar Player will still eat my cooking. You know what I mean? Okay. We're just about there. Now, we, we also have, one of our camera people here is a, is a genuine certified vegan. And she really likes this stuff. Now, does this qualify for genuine certified vegan? Yes. How about if I add a piece of this later on? Will that qualify then? No. Butter. Well, that's not meat. Okay, so here we're going to show you the next step right now. Put that one aside for the moment. We're just going to take the insides out. Now, some people take two forks and they go like this here and they kind of rough it up. I don't do that. I, I rough it up later. You just scoop it out. Now, depending on how hard you've cooked it, look, there's your spaghettis. There's your spaghettis. Now, depending on how much you've cooked it, Depends on how much you get out. I cook it a lot, so I get a lot out. Look at that. There's my spaghettis. Look at all them spaghettis. Now remember, they're not really spaghetti, it's a vegetable. So please don't tell me you put marinara sauce on here and it tastes like spaghetti, because it don't. Period. End of story. Now there's that one. I left a little char on the oh yeah. That is hot. Make sure you got your hot gloves on like I do. I'm gonna get rid of a little more of this char. A little more, they're gone. How about around here? A little more of that, a little in here. It's kind of good having it charred like this because now you control exactly how much. Okay, now I'm going to scoop this one out. Look at that, how easy that comes out. And there's my spaghetti, look at that. And that's what spaghetti squash, and it's so hot, it's steaming up my glass. Now this one spaghetti squash is going to serve quite a few people, as you can tell. You can almost go totally to the shell, and look at that. Now, for all you vegans out there, sorry, but here comes some butter. Now you don't have to add butter, you can add butter and, and or olive oil. I'm doing both just for the fun of it. Okay? Then what we're going to do is, after we mix it up a little bit, we're going to season it to our liking with the veggie blend. Okay? You know what? I'm going to take the butter and only put it on half of it, like here. I'm going to cut it off right there so that our vegan can taste this. Okay? So there you go. I got vegan and I got normal people over here. This is for normal people and this is for vegans, okay? And we're going to uh, come back and we're going to give it a taste. Okay, somebody hit the theme song, will ya? That sounds pretty good, huh? Makes me want to do the chicken dance. <laughs> so we're back. We made our spaghetti squash, our normal batch. Now coming up is going to be the big ending of the one that we stuffed in a mini without even cutting it apart, okay? But you know, remember I took my spaghetti squash and I divided it up into two. Here we have for our vegan friends, and here we have for us normal people, okay? So I happen to have myself a genuine vegan person right here. So here you go, young lady, and you can have a fork. Now just wait for just a minute, okay? Don't taste it yet because I gotta ask you something, honey. Tell me something. Have you ever tasted this particular spaghetti squash before? No. 
No! We're keeping it honest. Keeping it honest. We don't want to cheat. You know we don't want to cheat. Okay, so let's give it a taste test there, honey. Now I'm going to taste it now, too. You go ahead. Go ahead. Take a bite. Take a bite. What do you think? Yummy. Yummy! She said yummy. And she used to live in California. And she said yummy. Now let me just taste it. That's pretty good. Here, put a little more of this on. Put a lot more of this on. Let me taste it again. Mm, it's even better with this one. Okay, folks. Spaghetti squash the vegetable. Don't be putting no marinara sauce on there. Or the Italian police are going to come and get you. And that's how you do a spaghetti squash the normal way on your grill. Now let's get back to see how our mini's coming along with our spaghetti squash and our mini. Okay, folks, it's been about an hour. Let's check our spaghetti squash and our mini egg. Here we go. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Well, let's, let's check our temperature. 200. 201. Uh, she's done. So, folks, there she is, our spaghetti squash. We're going to show you how to cut it up and serve it, and it's delicious. So, let's do it. Let's zoom that camera in here. Now you can tell it's kind of crispy on the outside. We're going to scoop the inside out. Now one thing I must say while I'm doing this, a lot of people think spaghetti squash, you put spaghetti sauce on it and it acts like spaghetti. It does not. It is not spaghetti. It is a vegetable. So forget that sauce on there. If you're an Italian like me, you would never eat that. Because we nothing substitutes for regular spaghetti. So we're cutting our way through here. Oh, beautiful. Now this is going to have the seeds and stuff in it. Because, you know, our simplified cooking plan, you know, we didn't take any of that stuff out. So we're going to have to scoop out the center here first, which is no big deal, very easy to do. Get all them seeds and stuff out of there. Hey, helpers, I'm going to need another one of those pans. Look at that. We're going to take all that out of there. Just get the seeds out. That's the part you don't want. Wow, is that hot. Woo! You don't want to eat any of them seeds. You want them all out of there. There you go. Okay, we'll just do this one side here for the sake of a demonstration. Get a fresh pan here, and what we're going to do is we're going to scoop the guts out. Now watch this. That is our spaghetti squash right there, and it is wonderful stuff. Now, you're going to notice if you cook it on a wood fire like that on charcoal, it's got a little bit of a woody taste to it, and man, it's fantastic. Let's get some down here. You can scoop all that spaghetti-looking stuff out. Just no spaghetti sauce. Please don't ever tell me you're putting spaghetti sauce on your spaghetti squash. Okay, so there's one of them. We're going to put that in there. And this is our throwaway, and this is what we're going to eat right here. Now, it's very hot, but I'm going to show you. Typically what we do is we take a couple forks, and we break this up. Now, I'm going to use my spoon a little bit. You can just break these up like this, make it into the spaghetti, like that. Just pull them apart. You got your nice, wonderful spaghetti. Now I got a little, I got a little brown piece of skin in here. Now what do we do to season it? A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and then we use Tasty Licks Tree Hugger Veggie Blend. Okay, gonna show you what that's like. Put some of that on there. Now if you cook your, if you decide to cut your uh, spaghetti squash open and cook it and put both sides down on your grill. You can do that too. Just put the meat towards the flame and uh, put the olive oil and the, and the seasoning on it before you do that. But you can season it at the end. Just, just cook it whole like that. Okay, so I guess it is time for the moment of truth. Now, unfortunately, I got no innocent bystanders. I got no helpers. And I don't even have a dog here to share it with. So I'm just going to try it myself. And you're going to have to take my word for it. Still piping off. I gotta tell you something. It's better than you would ever think. So, that is our spaghetti squash. Look at this, we got even more over here. Cooked on our big green egg mini. That's gonna be my dinner, and this is just a wonderful thing to have to eat. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of tree hugger on there, and you're in good shape. We'll see you next time. Over here, we hey, hone in on her. <laughs>